Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is a part two of the code functionality in ASP.NET Entity Framework Code with Blazor application. And here we got the final output. Click code. And notice when I click the code, we got the student component here, which contains two text box controls to insert the records. And below that, we got a table to display the data. Now let's insert the new record called Peter Pat at gmail.com. Let's insert the record. See so here we got the Peter details. Let's check in our database also. Right now in our student table contains only one record challenge. Let's execute this statement. See so here we got the Peter. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Now, before continuing this part 2 video series, I sincerely recommend please watch my part 1 video. In that part 1 video, I have shown how to configure the data connection string of this SQL server and add in the ASP.NET code with Blazor applications. And also, this student table I have migrated from the ASP.NET code. Now, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to insert, create the record and read the record from this student table in Blazor application. So let's write the coding part. This is our project. First before adding the functionality, let's run this application how it looks the basic output on the browser. Looks on the browser. And here we got out the default output of our application, which contains this is the razor component and this is the layout menu. Now my aim is I will add one new navigation link to this layout menu and one razor component. When a user clicks that link, I want to open that razor component. So let's add those ones first. To add the navigation link, stop debugging fast. In the project come to the bottom notice the shared folder expand that one in the shared folder there is now menu.razor open that one let's copy this list item and paste here give the list item label name is a code and the href link is student code so after adding this navigation link, next we'll add one razor component in this pages folder. Expanding the pages folder, select the pages folder, right click the mouse, add and selecting the razor component. And the component name is student. Enter. And here we got our student component. Now when a user clicks this, navigation link crawl i want to open this razor component on the browser so for that i'm adding the page direct to colon forward slash i'm adding the href student crawl between these double quotes that's it now let's check the output run this application again And here we got our new output. Notice the code navigation link is added. When I click that one, here we got our student razor component. Now in the student component, I'm adding the code functionality. So user can insert, create a record, fetch the records, read the records, edit the records, and delete the record. So first let's add two text box controls. In our table, we have three columns. But the student ID column is a primary key, so I don't require. So let's add uh, the um, edit form, which is a form element. In this form, first, first let's stop debugging here. In this tutorial, I'm not concentrating on the designing part. I'm just concentrating on the crude functionality only. First one is the student name, input type, the element is input type, 
input type is equals to text next one email input 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 type is equals to text let's close this element after that we require one button control to insert the records so i'm adding one simple button element with the type type is submit and this button label is the insert record so after adding the elements the html elements in this edit form now to insert the records the crude functionality in blazor applications we require the services so that services we are adding a new folder right click the application name add click the new folder the folder name is a services now inside this services folder i'm adding a class called student services student services enter and here we got our student services now in the student services i am adding my db context class the db context class is here in the data folder this application db context class and student class which i have showed in our part one video so please watch my part one video also so now here when you want to access these classes we require the namespace here using my application name dot data folder in this data folder we have this db context and student class so first here private read only application db context call db context underscore db context colon let's create the constructor of the student services class ctor double tab it will create the constructor inside this constructor i'm adding the application db context class and i'm adding the object underscore db so here underscore db context dot db context is equals to underscore db now now in the services first i am adding the first method to insert the records for that i am using public bool insert record insert rec insert this record i am adding the save the records so db context dot my table name is a student dot add method in this add method i am adding the records whatever i am inserted so those records i am adding here the student class as so this object contains all the properties notice the student class contains the properties colon once we add the records we need to save changes so add change save changes method then this function will return true that's it this uh, line of code these three lines of code to insert the records after that switch over to the razor component uh, not the razor component open startup.cs we need to add our service here in this configure service notice here we got all the services here and also here the application db context class which i have added in my part one video so let's add our new services dot add scope in this add scope my service name is student services so student services that's it So we need to add this so when we add the service we need to make sure we need to add the services here after that open the razor component in the code and here we need to import using my application name is crude blazor code dot data 
and also we require to add the services also to blazor.services folder then we have to inject the dependency injection here this student service also at inherits inherits own component base the t service is student service also so between these tags i'm adding student service also. now in the code i'm adding my class name student class sc is equals to new student class after that let's define void insert records now in this record i'm adding the service dot notice here when i click dot here we got out the function name from the service which is an insert record which contains the logic to insert record insert record i am adding the object sc that's it and in the edit form let's add the model is equal to at sc we need to add this object student class object and also we require to add this insert record method here in the uh, on valid on valid submit at this function after that we need to bind um, sc dot here we got the student name at bind is equals to sc dot email we need to put symbols also that's it let's check the output and here we got the output and let's click crew so here now we got two text box controls in the student razor component one for the student name and adding student name charan and email id charan at gmail.com now before insert the student record let's check in our database right now in the student table let's execute it which contains zero rows let's insert the student record insert the record is inserted successfully let's check in our database execute so here the charan record is inserted successfully now my next aim is when a user insert record I want to display those records in this same student razor component. So again switch over to the project, stop debugging. In the razor component, to display the records, we require one table element. This table contains a border is equals to 1. Once again, I'm telling I'm not concentrating on the designing part here. So let's, uh, if you want, you can add that designing things. TR. In this tr i'm adding table headers student id in our table you have three columns student id student name and email after that we require the table data tr and tds those tds we are getting from the database so we require one more service to fetch the records to get the records so here i am adding to display the records public the list class we require the list inside the list the type of elements we are getting from the student class and get students students And we get students let's display the records db context dot my table name is student dot to list method and this function return that's it now let's add this service in this razor component and for that i'm adding one more class here called list 
and so this list class the type of elements we are getting from student class so here I'm adding SC object one more method here protected override void on initializing method we required to display the records let's delete this default code here I'm adding the service sc object is equals to service dot my new service name is a get student method get student method let's copy this one once the record is inserted I want to display I'm calling this service here also now here in the table to display the records I'm using for each loop because we are getting more than one record so at for each loop variable item in the items are getting from this SC object copy this one and paste here let's add the curly brackets the closing curly bracket after the tr tag then let's add the at item dot notice when I dot I'm getting the properties td at item dot s name td at item dot email that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the final output and here we got the final output click crude notice when I click the crude we got the student component here which contains two text box controls to insert the records and below that we got a table to display the data now let's insert the new record called peter pet at gmail.com let's insert the record see here we got the peter details let's check in our database also right now in our student table contains only one record channel let's execute this statement see here we got the peter 